Recently, the City Council confirmed Heather Hutt to represent Council District 10. Now that she is on the Council, Hutt is laying out her plans for the district and she joins us now. So what plans do you have for CD10? My plan is to use all the city resources possible to bring CD10 back to where it was. We're doubling down on the work that we're doing with our homeless population, make sure our, our homeless neighbors are housed. When we got our homeless count, uh, 1,300 people, and this was in February, were identified as unhoused in CD10. Between February and now, we have identified that just about 30% of those folks have been housed, and we'll continue to fight to make sure that they are housing secure. You are the first woman to represent CD10 and the first black woman. What does that mean to you? First of all, it is incredible that there hasn't been a woman here before. And for it to be me is a great responsibility. I have to show little girls of any color that they can do this. Because if you can see it, what? You could be it, right? What has been the reaction to your appointment in the district? People are really happy to have a voting member. They felt disenfranchised. They felt like it was taxation without representation. Uh, we have a vocal district, and they, they were the ones that reached out to council president and said, hey, we need a voting member. And that is really the trigger. And council president Nuri Martinez has also been very supportive. Completely supportive. She certainly does understand the city and the complexities of all of it. I appreciate her leadership and I, I'm really proud to be able to work with the uh, council president. Well, there is a lot of hope about the future in CD10 and we thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. Um, I do want to say if folks want to get in touch with our office, CD10 dot la city dot gov that's how you get in touch with us that's how you can see what our updates are and our upcoming events